Hello there everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to my own personal VR arcade. This is the coolest thing I've seen in absolutely ages. This is Arcade Time Capsule and it's been developed by someone called Half Deck. I don't actually know their real name and I feel really bad for not being able to call that out, but maybe they don't want people to know their real name. Maybe they're happy with people calling them Half Deck. And that's their name, that's what they go by online, and they are the creator of this. This glorious VR application that allows you to play, yeah you can play these, play old arcade games in VR in this fully 3D, fully realised, gorgeous and very faithful retro arcade. Now let me just move around the arcade a little bit. Now currently it is just snap turn as far as I can figure out. I can't see any kind of smooth turn and you only need to use one VR controller to engage with this application. Now you will see there's loads of like classic movie posters on the wall. We've got, look at this, we got Sigourney Weaver there from Ghostbusters, we've got Star Wars, we've got Dune, we got, we got Arnie, we've got Terminator. Look at the floor, we've got that weird kind of bowling alley, wiggly line neon floor. We've got some authentic ripped wallpaper over here. <laughs> It's great. I can almost smell the arcade smell, you know? Now you'll see that all of these arcade machines are currently playing their kind of attract mode. These looping demos that kind of blast sound at you, play a little bit of the game and attract you to come and play the machine. Now it is as overwhelming in here as it is being in a real life arcade. You've got all these overlapping noises. It's super nostalgic. Really, um, it's like, it's like your senses are overwhelmed which I think is the intended effect, that's what they were going for, but it, it's so authentic in here, it's crazy. So you move around using your right touch controller, which is the only one you need. You've got teleport movement and snap movement, and that allows you to kind of navigate through the arcade. And, and let me say, these arcade environments look stunning. Um, this has been built on Unreal 4.17, something like that, Unreal 4 basically. But it looks gorgeous. All the machines have these kind of reflections of the light and the ceiling. So it looks like you're standing in front of a real cabinet. You can see that on the top, on the kind of the uh, the logo, the splash logo bit up there, and then on the cab itself. And they all have it. They all have these shiny reflections. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. And then you've got the lower arcade cabs, so the ones you have to kind of sit down at. And to use these, you do have... A crouch button so you can make yourself lower down so that if I do sit in front of one of these I'm in basically you know the right position to play this particular game I don't know what this is what is this ESP I'm not sure what that is oh that looks a bit like R type I don't think it is battle Garega. now currently in the application this is just one of I think four different rooms that you can visit yeah so we got level one which is where I believe I am right now 4th level, 5th level, and 6th level. 2nd and 3rd aren't currently available, and Pasadena, I think there's a problem with it, I'm not entirely sure, but we'll, we'll cycle through them, and I'll show you what the different environments look like, and then we'll actually play some of these games, because you can sit at these cabs and play on these games as long as you've loaded the ROMs into the application. Um, and I can't tell you where to get the ROMs, but I'm sure you can figure it out, because Google exists, which is amazing. Um, let's go to the 4th level. Oh. This one has a very different visual aesthetic. I'm immediately just staring at a wall. Oh, okay, it's all behind me. Someone's done graffiti inside. Amazing. We've got some records on the wall here as well. The Smiths, okay, I like the Smiths. Police, very nice. Morrissey, very depressing, but then so are the Smiths. Uh, Sonic Youth, very nice. Cool. <laughs> I like it. It's very authentic. Is that Sinead O'Connor? Yeah, it is amazing. All right, let's get into the actual arcade. Now this one's got a bit more of a, a rustic vibe with the brick walls, the exposed brick walls, a little bit less neon. Oh, but it's still very, very cool. Now does this oh, look at that Pepsi machine? It looks really real. Bloody heck. I want the Dr. Pepper. Oh, I miss Dr. Pepper so much. I gave up caffeine uh, at the start of last year. Um, so now I can only drink like the no caffeine alternatives of these drinks, like Pepsi Max, no caffeine. Coke, no caffeine. And they taste fine, but I miss Dr. Pepper. I can't get a caffeine-free Dr. Pepper, which, uh, yeah, depresses the absolute dick off of me. Um, yeah, this is amazing. So this one looks like it only has 
kind of the lower cabs. It hasn't got like the high full size cabs, just the kind of sit down ones. But yeah, a very different visual vibe to the first level in the arcade. But but equally as impressive, it's a bit more dingy this one. But like look at the posters. The posters all have these like shiny surfaces reflecting the light from the cabs. The attention to detail is just gorgeous. The bin there with all the reflections. Is the reflection like true to what I'm seeing? I think it is. I don't know if it's like baked in, but you know, you can I can see the light on the bin. It's hard to tell when you don't have smooth movement. Um because I would be able to kind of slide around and see if it moves, but very, very visually impressive. Let's check out the fifth level. Ah, now this one looks a bit more like the only arcade that I physically have near me these days. There's a small arcade uh, near-ish where I live, and, and it looks a bit like this. It doesn't have a do the right thing poster or a Scarface poster, but it is this kind of like dingy room, I guess I would say. Kind of just plain white walls and then just a bunch of arcade cabinets. What we got? Dragon Breed. Legendary Wings. Another Pepsi machine taunting me with its Dr. Pepper. We got Shinobi. If anyone out there lives in the States and you can get hold of, like, caffeine-free Dr. Pepper and, and, like, send it to me, God, that would be cool. I would, I would, I would pay you. <laughs> I'd pay you. I don't even know if it exists. Uh, P.O.W. Prisoners of War, Victory Road. Is that Bionic Commando? That's Bionic Commando. Rygar, 1943. Strider. Is that Strider? It is. Oh my, giddy on Double Dragon, Altered Beast. Now don't don't worry. I am going to play some of these in a mo. I'll show you how you can. I just want to walk around the rooms first, breathe in the atmosphere, smell the smells, and <laughs> just show you how amazing this is. Now also this runs. Um, flawlessly um, on my setup. I do have a 4090, very blessed, but the developer, I do believe... Look at that, those are like little scratch marks. Flipping heck! Attention to detail, I love attention to detail. Um, the developer, I, I believe, captured it or created it, tested it on a, a, a 10 series card. At least that's what they said in the Discord at the point at which I read their message. They may have a better system now, they may have upgraded. But certainly, uh, um, at one point, they were testing and building this on a, on a 10 series. I can't remember if it was a 1080. Um, so, performance-wise, you should be able to play this on, on most systems. But it's it's a free download in the Discord. You can donate to the developer to support their work and to show them that you're appreciative. But the download itself is completely free. Look how, uh, honestly, attention to detail. I can read all of this. It is crisp. Ah, I love it. Right, uh, two more rooms to check out, I believe. Uh, we have the sixth level. Oh, I immediately like this one because it has a Princess Mononoke poster. Ah, I love that film so much. I just watched The Boy and the Heron, and uh, yeah, it was absolutely phenomenal. Akira, amazing. I really hope uh, Boy and the Heron wins an Oscar. Ghibli deserve more Oscars. Is it Ghibli or is it Ghibli? I've always said Ghibli. But I could be wrong. Could be wrong. Top Gun over there. Jet Stream Juice. Don't know what that means. Never drunk any Jet Stream Juice. Okay, let's have a little walk through here. Is that Ghosts and Ghouls? Oh my good lord. It's so overwhelming. Paperboy there. There he is. Amazing Paperboy. This one looks bigger. This one looks huge. Does this go right around the corner? A beer, uh, beer Tapper? Is it called Beer Tapper? Like Root Beer Tapper is the full name or is it just called Tapper? Not sure. Uh, this is amazing. Right, okay, this does go right around the corner. Flipping heck. What we got here? Oh, my word. Joust, look at that. That's such a nice little corner area. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, it looks so good. Oh, is that Marvel vs. Capcom? Or is that, or is that like the X-Men game? Marvel Superheroes. Oh, I vaguely remember this. Let's get a bit closer. I don't know if I had this. Did this ever have a home release? I certainly have played this. It looks super familiar, but I don't. I didn't spend a huge amount of time in arcades when I was younger. That it wasn't. It was kind of already a dying thing. Um, I was born in '87, and in the UK, I don't think it was ever as big as it was in other countries. So I went to arcades, but it certainly wasn't as um, prominent when I was little. But I do remember this vividly, like all these kind of like cutscenes and things. 
So I do wonder if it had a home release. Amazing. Right, uh, one more room to check out, and it's the Pasadena one. Now, I did read something about this room, like, not working or crashing or something, so this might not go well. <gasps> okay, so the Pasadena level seems to work. It's let me in, um, and it has a gorgeous outdoor bit. This is incredible. What does it say on the door? Arcade time capsule. Arcade games. Automatic caution door. <laughs> oh, amazing. It's the attention to detail that really sells me on this. Look at it. This one's probably the nicest looking one. Um, this looks incredible. Got a little Mario behind the counter there. I mean, look at this. Look at this, like, Coke can, Mountain Dew can, chiller. I mean, they're all, like, 3D objects. That's not a flat image on the inside of a chiller. That They are 3D. The detail is insane. I want to put my head through it, but it will just clip me out of the world. Right, this arcade is, is my favourite. This has the six-player X-Men game. Look at that. It's across two screens. That's flipping awesome. Oh, man. How good would this app be if it had multiplayer? And you could actually see other avatars in here and play stuff like this multiplayer with them. Hopefully, that is, like, the the long-term goal. But I think it is just one developer. I don't know how intense that would be. Is that Aliens? <gasps> oh, it is. I've emulated so many of these arcade games in the past because I probably wouldn't have played them in real arcades. But flipping hell. Now, one thing I'm noticing is I do think each floor, each level has different arcade games. Now, this app supports, like, 200-plus, I think, different arcade or MAME ROMs. Um, and if you apply them all, if you download them all and you add them to the product, you're going to find them across the different levels. Like, not every level will have every game. Because I think this is the first time I've seen Pac-Man. Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, um, Donkey Kong... I don't think these cabs have appeared on any of the other floors because they have a certain aesthetic to them that didn't really blend in with the rest of the levels I've been on. Superman. So yeah, like if you add... All, what are they playing on the TV? <laughs> what are they playing? I can't look at that for too long. It's probably like copyright. This whole thing is so copyright sensitive. Okay, so there is a full-blown movie playing on the TV behind me. I'm not entirely sure what the movie is, but I don't want to look at it for too long because I'll probably get in trouble from YouTube. So let's just move on. Let's pretend there isn't a movie playing on the TV behind me. Now let's play some of these games. Now to play these games, obviously you need to find the ROMs yourself and load them into the file, the folder of the application. This game doesn't come with the ROMs pre-baked in. You can't distribute ROMs in that way, so you have to find them yourself. If you don't put the ROMs in, I don't think the app will work, or you'll just be able to wander around these kind of arcades but not be able to interact with anything. So you've got to find the ROMs yourself, add them to a folder within the application's files, and then you'll be good to go. Now, once you've done that, make sure you've got a controller plugged in. I've got an Xbox One controller here, ready to rock and roll. And that's kind of it. I'm going to play Pac-Man first, because I bloody love Pac-Man. Now, to play a game, stand in front of the cab that you want to play, obviously. Take your touch controller, put it below the control panel, and then pull trigger. Now, that should activate the machine. You should see it come to life. There we go. So, it's coming to life now. Now, I swap over to my controller. And now everything is handled in-game, because I, it already has presets for this controller, so I can add credits. Bunch of credits in, and then push start to start playing. <laughs> and, and, and then you play. It is as simple as that. Shouldn't have eaten that, that was too early. Too early for eating that. It's alright game. There we go, that'll do. And this works for all games. It's, it's all handled um, by the emulation software, I can only assume, that's running behind the scenes, but it already knows the configurations for controllers for all of the games. Like, there's not a single game in here so far that I've sat in front of and had to do any kind of configura uh, configuration for. They've all just worked straight out of the box, and that's crazy impressive to me, considering how many different... Uh, 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 oh, sorry. Pinky's going to get me. Um, how many different games you could possibly have in here? Um, oh, go down there, Pac-Man. Don't be like this. I want to complete at least one level. No, Clyde's coming. Nah, uh, Clyde is not too much of a worry. He's not as smart as the others. There we go. Fantastic. I did a whole level. Now, once you've 
got bored of playing that particular game, you bring the menu back up and you shut down active game. And then you're back to controlling like this. And you can move on to play something else. Now, I think the game pauses some of the attract screens um, when you're in here, if you're playing a game. So if I come and play Donkey Kong, it might pause the attract screens of the other games to improve performance. I love Donkey Kong. I love Donkey Kong so bloody much. I, I love these cabinets with the kind of oh, what would you call that? It's, it's like frame I guess. The frames around the front. Absolutely amazing. Right, let's do a level of Donkey Kong. And then we'll go and play something a little bit more, I guess modern. Look at, look at this. But yeah, you have to jump between levels if you want to experience all of the games because there are different, uh, different ROMs, different arcade cabinets on all the different floors. Come on, jump man. Let's do this, shall we? Get that hammer. Oh, I shouldn't have got the hammer because I can't bloody go up there. It's a waste. It's alright, fine. Just just stay here and hit some barrels. Yeah, that'll do. 300 points! Amazing. And again, and again. Come on, put it put it away. There we go. Right, are you going to come down there? No, you're not. Oh, bugger. Oh, mate. Old games are so hard. Like, people talk about, like, Dark Souls and stuff, but, like, look at this. This is brutal. Ah! It's so brutal. I mean, oh, double whammy. Come on now. I mean, I am quite okay at Donkey Kong, he says as he dies. There's always a comedic timing to me saying I'm quite good at games because I immediately die. Oh, bloody heck. Okay, why are they purple? I don't remember that. Why are they purple? Why are the face is green? This is factually inaccurate. Although I think I did have some... Um, well, I know I had some... Oh, no, there's eggs. I know I had some toys when I was younger that were alien toys. Weird, I was like a little kid and I had alien and predator toys. Strange. Um, I probably wasn't old enough to watch the films, but I was old enough to have the toys. And I did have some aliens that were like purple, green. Uh, there was like a rhino one. I think he was like, I think he was purple actually. They were great toys. I wish I still had them. This is so cool. This is, this is so bloody good. I'm dying, but it's so bloody good. We were fighting a queen already or something. What's happening? It's the boss fight. Ah! Oh my god! Oh my... It's like Space Invaders, but with aliens. Jeebs. Oh no. Ah, what's that? He's not an alien. What is that? Don't like that. Got a big long neck. It's horrible. Ah! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Can you die, please? I don't like you at all. I don't like anything that you're doing. I don't, I, don't, I don't want what you're selling. I don't like how you look. Jeebus. Come on now. Come on now. Please die. It's time. There we go. Time to die. No, it's not dead. It's doing more things. It's shooting things out of its face. Uh, okay, hey, it. Right, I'm going to quit this game. It's horrible. I don't like it. So that's Aliens. Uh, shut down that game. I really do wish I could show you the music that was just playing. It was playing The Cure. I flipping love The Cure. The music in here is amazing. So when you're playing not capturing for YouTube like I am right now, you'll be listening to some absolute you know, 80s, 70s bangers, like some straight jams playing in here. Um, it's incredible. I have heard The Smiths and I have had a lot of The Cure. Um, incredible. Right, let's play a few more games. So we've also got one of my favourites over here, the Simpsons arcade game. Oh, look at it. It's a classic Konami. Konami, can you just start making good games again, please? Stop making pachinko machines. Give us some Silent Hill games. And maybe some classic... Simpsons action. Now, there is something with this particular um, ROM or arcade cab. I can't move to a different character. I was playing this yesterday and I couldn't figure it out. Like, I can't move across. I can put more coins in. Um, and I can press start. But I am playing as Marge because I couldn't move across to Homer. Not sure why. Um, I think some of the cabs you might need to do a little bit of configuration in, potentially. And you can open up config by pressing tab on your keyboard. And that will bring up the config menu for each cab. Um, but I think I'll be playing as Marge right now, which is fine. It's fine. We can play as Marge. Here she is with her vacuum cleaner. Amazing. Not in any way stereotypical <laughs> or sexist. Incredible. It's from a different time, you know. We've changed. There we go. Get out of there. Get out of there. Amazing. Look at it. I don't know why she couldn't just beat people up with her hat. Oh my god. I don't know why she could beat people up with her hands. I don't know why she needed the vacuum cleaner. Seems like overkill. Homer beats people up with his hands. Because it's a simple game. I'm pretty sure it's just that one button. Okay, you can jump as well and do like a, a kick, I think. Maybe not. Okay, she, she can't. Oh, yeah, she can. Yeah, like a diving kick. <laughs> look at it. But like while you're playing, obviously you're free to look around because you're in VR. So you can, you can take in the cab. You can 
look around the rest of the arcade while you're just plugging away. Hello, Skinner. Why are you wearing different coloured clothes? You never dress like that. They are not the clothes you wear, typically. Can I break, like, okay, use a sign? Look at that. Throw that at this unsuspecting fella. Yeah, that sucked, didn't it? Absolutely incredible stuff. All the scratches on the top of the cab, I really appreciate. Like, the attention to detail is bonkers. Hello, fire person. Get that little apple. Get that little apple. Take that. Hit the tree. Ah! Man, this boss is uh, is a tank. He's got to be close to dying. Look how flashy he's gone. He's going so flashy. Must mean he's nearly at the end of his tether. Come on, mate. Die. 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 These games are so hard because they want you to pump in hundreds of pounds. It says 25 cents on there, but... You'd spend way more than 25 cents trying to complete something like this. Okay, let's get out of it. Why is Mr. Smithers the bad guy in this game? Why has Smithers stolen Maggie? What's, oh my, what's happening? Hit buttons? Oh my god, okay. Blow up my balloon! Blow up the balloon! Yes! Go! 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 How did he win? I was smashing that button! Okay, I'm quitting this game. This game's cheating me. What else do we have? We've got the classic... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade game, which I'm very, very fond of. Won't play that now, though. It's very similar to the Simpsons game. But yeah, very, very iconic. We've got Battle Toads. Um, I want to play Altered Beast, but I don't think it's on this level. Bucky O'Hare! Captain Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare! Oh my... Dead Eye Duck! There he is. That is a throwback. That is a ridiculous throwback. Oh my word. There it is, Altered Beast. I didn't actually realise this um, released in arcades, um, or Golden Axe, to be honest. Um, I thought they were just like home releases, but I don't know a huge amount about arcade culture. I love arcade games, but as I said, like it was probably... I was born at the wrong time for it, really. Got the kick. I love the kick. I'm going to kick this stupid wolf right in his face. Take that. Give me that ball. Power up. Oh, classic. Can I break these? You can break these, can't you? Ah, there's zombies inside and they explode. Oh, I guess not good. Good job I don't have to pay actual money to uh, add credits to this because I'm not doing very well today. Come on. Kick you in the face. And you. Oh, we're up. Power up. He's getting hench. He's getting so hench. Look at him. He's a tank. His head is still tiny, though, and I think that's ridiculous. His head should at least grow ah, in proportion to his body. Oh, here we go. Wolfman now. What a classic game. What, just what a great game Altered Beast is. <laughs> it's so bloody good. Oh, man. What is it this guy says? He says something ridiculous, doesn't he, when he tries to kill you. Ah, take that. Welcome to your doom. That's it. Welcome to your doom. Oh, so good. I have a lot of love for this app. So I found it yesterday. I didn't know it existed until, until then. Um, and I'm just enamored with it. I think it's incredible. The download is available through the Discord. I will put a link in the description to this video. And yeah, if you're a fan of like older games and experiences like this in VR, I massively recommend that you um, you check it out. It's very impressive. It's clear that the dev is um, kind of very attached to this time period and, and very fond of, of this style and type of gaming and games. And it's a perfect fit for VR because this kind of escapist, retro, nostalgic... Um, experience, which is unlike anything else. If you played this flat, it wouldn't have the same impact as playing it in VR. It's such a barrage on your senses in, in the best way possible. I am terrible at Street Fighter. I don't know why I picked this, because I'm just going to show myself up, and I'm not even going to be able to uh, beat the first opponent, which is Blanka. Yeah, this is going to go terribly. I'm, I'm really bad at Street Fighter. Okay. I can do a Hadouken though, so that's cool. I can still remember how to do that. And that, okay. I can remember things. Oh, mate. Oh, why is Street Fighter so hard? Like, the original is such a savage game. Take that. Come on, stay out of there. No! <laughs> it's so bloody brutal. They didn't pull any punches. Like, I'm okay at like modern fighting games. I'm not great at them. But uh, there's something about Street Fighter 2 that I find very difficult. It's, it's a, a challenging game. Maybe it's tuned that way again because it was an arcade game and they want you to pump in uh, all the coins. Come on, Blanca. Come on. He knows. And he, they, they, you know, the AI is good enough to properly react to what you do. Take that in your face. Except you didn't, you didn't see that one coming, did you? You idiot. Oh, come on. I can't remember how to do, like, the uppercut. Um... 
No, I can't remember it. No, oh, it's not going to go well. No, 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 ah, you shit! Right, we're not, we're not going to see that conclusion, because I'm probably going to die. Um, but there's Street Fighter. Another absolute classic and favourite of mine, Metal Slug 3. Now, you can play, um, I think this game required an additional file to be added into the folders for arcade um, time capsule. I think it needed a Neo Geo zip. I think that's what it needed. Um, but it lets you play these games, Neo Geo games, I guess. Is that what they are? Flippin' amazing. I love this game. Alright. And they all run really well as well. Like, I haven't seen any performance issues. They, they run like I was actually sitting here in an arcade playing them, you know? Like, that's how good they are. I got off you. Oh my god, it's slowing down a bit now. <laughs> I'm testing it. I'm testing it. There we go. Look at it. So good. Metal Slug is such a good game. I would love a new Metal Slug, a, a modern Metal Slug. No, I don't mean like make it 3D, necessarily change too much about it, but just just make me a new side-scrolling one with kind of like modern side-scrolling graphics, like the new uh, Prince of Persia, uh, the way that looks, but for a Metal Slug. I'd love that. So bloody good. Hello. Can I have whatever you've got? Thank you. Shotgun. Oh, it's a grenade launcher, actually. Uh, I, oh, I want to get in that little thing. Nah, it's too late. Go this way. Hello, mate. Look, it's, this is just amazing. Honestly, I urge everyone to go and download this. It is a stunning piece of VR tech. Like, it is just so cool. And well worth... Well worth the price of admission, which is free. It's free. It just takes a little bit of setup uh, to get the ROMs and stuff. But once you've done that... You are away and having the best time ever. Right, I hope you've enjoyed everyone. If you have, please do leave a like, leave a comment, hit subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you soon for another one. I will leave the link to download this in the description. Oh man, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, what a classic. What an absolute... Oh, Mega Man, no, please! He's absolutely annihilated me. I didn't even want to watch that, that was too ridiculous. Yeah, I will leave a link to the Discord in the description of this video. Please come and check this out. Incredible application if you're a fan of classic games and you just want to spend some time in a retro arcade environment in VR. I love it. I'm doing terribly here. I'm just smashing buttons. I absolutely love it. How do I switch out to Spider-Man? Can't remember. Can't remember. Can I bring him in by pressing something? Oh, I brought in. Oh, no. She's come in. Is it Jubilee? Okay, brilliant. Right, I'm going to leave it here. Take care, everyone. I'll see you soon for another one. I need to at least beat Mega Man, right? Oh, no. He's going to blast me again. No. He is such a little... Bitch, I hate him. And his stupid dog. What's his dog called? I don't even know. Come on, do something cool, Venom. Come on, finish him, finish him. Oh, come off it. There we go. I killed Mega Man. That will do. Take care, everyone. See you soon for another one. Peace out.